Log from Dick Murdoch, who thinks he's been robbed of a victory. But Dick, the referee declared the match a double disqualification. Both teams disqualified. How can anyone in their right mind double disqualified team with a caliber professionalism as Bob Brown and Dick Murdoch? Now you've seen Gene Kaninsky, the former world's heavyweight champion, Canada's greatest athlete, which means nothing in the United States of America. And you saw a snotty-nosed punk kid, Kevin Von Erich. Now, I will admit it's a good athlete. It works out, takes care of his body. His family's got a good background in professional wrestling, a good one. But nowhere in the comparison of Frankie Hill, Murdoch, my dad, or Farmer Jones, my uncle. And Sam and Sammy Mushnick will tell you that. Well, Dick, that's not the point. Now, you were complaining that you had a pin taken away from you, but most of the people here in referee Lee Warren thought that you had your feet on the ropes when you had Kevin's shoulders down. Hey, what can I tell you? You know it yourself. Every one of these freeloaders sitting out here. It doesn't matter who I'm wrestling. They always root for the other person, right? This town has been very, very impartial to Dick Murdoch. I've been robbed a lot of times. And that... Kevin Von Erich standing here watching, listening to you. Kevin, you want to come up? Do you have something to say what he's had? Come on up, Kevin. And I won't rest until it's done, Murdoch. I've got, a, I've got something to settle with you, and I swear I will sell it. That sounds like a challenge thrown right at you, Dick. Let me say one thing, Von Eric. If you can't come out here and talk without I'm almost crying, go on home to Dallas, boy. Let me tell you something. Now, if you freeloaders, just hold it, boy. If you freeloaders will listen, and listen and pay attention, I'll answer your challenge, Von Eric. My name's not Boyne, I'm not a kid. You're a snotty-nosed punk kid. Hey, listen, Larry. There's no reason for calling him things like that. If you want to wrestle him, go to Sam Muchnick. If the shoe fits, wear it. Wait a minute, hey, is this my interview? That's true, you're, you're on the interview. Okay, go ahead, say what you have to say. I know that I'm a professional athlete, and I know that I've got a signed contract. Go on home, boy, and cry to your mom and daddy. And I know that someday, sooner or later, I'm going to have to wrestle that little kid, turn him over my knee, and slap him like a little baby and send him back down to Dallas. Now everybody knows the state of Texas is divided in half, northern and southern part, and everybody knows that everybody comes down around there are sissies and punks, and everybody lives up where I live are men. Now, Sam Mushnick, and I'll say this about Sam Mushnick, he is probably one of the world's greatest wrestling promoters. That's a change of tune from you. But he's also a liar and a thief. And if Sam Mushnick has the guts to sign a contract with me and Kevin Von Eric, I'll whip him right here on KPLR Wrestling next week. I'll answer that.